I wanted to ask you about this too because you're a cyclist and there's a proposition from the Bicycle Network, a five-year trial to make bike helmets optional. You wear one, of course, because it's legal. If you didn't have to, would you? No, Neil. You wouldn't wear a helmet? That is my personal choice. I lived in London for three years. Bicycle helmets are optional. I rode all around the city and I absolutely loved it. I think if I was going on a busy road or for a long ride, or I, I'd really judge the risk. But personally, I'd love to be able to make a decision and I think it's well worth considering. So you would ride around the city without a helmet, do you think? Well, I'd really like the option to be able to decide that, yes. Why? Is it... it, it does make your hair look funny if you wear one, wear one, doesn't it? Well, I sort of guess I've got used to wearing a helmet now, but uh, certainly I loved the opportunity. I, I get a wonderful sense of freedom when I'm on a bicycle and uh, and I love the convenience of it. And part of that in London was just being able to hop on and ride away. 96900 Would you, uh, if you ride a bike, should it be optional? What about for kids, do you think? Do you think kids should mm. have to wear them? Again, it's always assessing that risk, isn't it? And, and as kids are developing and certainly developing their bicycle skills, particularly on roads, I think that's probably a good thing. Uh, and again, look, constantly the community is making decisions about what we need to regulate and what we don't. And it's interesting in this circumstance that the bicycle uh, groups are coming together to say maybe we've overregulated in this circumstance. They, they obviously believe that the helmets are a barrier to, to more people riding bikes. Well, you think that's right? Looks it. Could be. I think it could, could be. be. And for women, perhaps, maybe it is the hair thing. I'm not sure. But, uh, uh, but if there are ways in which we can encourage more people onto bicycles, that's not such a bad thing. And most of us look pretty stupid in helmets, don't we? Are you talking about me personally now? No, no, I was thinking myself, actually. <laughs> it looks bizarre. It is hard to find good-looking ones, I've got to say. It's not the look... Uh, that that uh, is the issue for me personally. I it's it's uh, the sense of uh, enjoying that bicycle ride and the wind in my hair. It, that must be it. Hello, Anna. What do you think? Hi. Look, Neil. I I totally respect the Lord Mayor, but I just I'm quite shocked. I've just got into the car, and I and I hear that she's saying don't wear helmets in the city. I think it's ridiculous. What if she's saying that? She's saying it should be optional. Yeah, I think it's always an assessment of the risk involved. I, I agree. If it's a busy road and there are lots of cars and there's some sort of uh, sense of danger, then it's always good for people to be able to make a choice to put a helmet on. I have ridden around the down the Strand, around Trafalgar, uh, in a Circle in London. I have uh, uh, ridden all over that city on a bicycle and, uh, and I didn't often wear a helmet. But I, I do take the view. I think it's worth having the debate is, is, is actually what I'm saying this morning. I lived on a bike till I was about 16 and never once wore a helmet. Now, maybe I was lucky. I fell off plenty of times. So why don't you ride it anymore, a bicycle, Neil? Uh, I haven't got time. I'm not going to ride in at four o'clock in the morning. Mm. Um, I, you know, sometimes I, I exercise in more intense ways, I suppose. Hello, Max. What do you reckon? Helmets, absolutely. You Sorry, that should be optional? Optional, absolutely. I don't want to be uh, going for a casual ride along uh, Beach Road's dedicated bike track and have to wear a helmet. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Max. 